So I just saw the I just saw the Chinese reflexologist, uh, aka my man, my guy, who I see for the last 20 years plus for all the acupuncture needs, suction cups. So I go there for a variety of different body issues. And of course Tourette's. Right? So I just went there, I uh, had my face. He didn't use any needle on my both face. Right? So my right tend to twitch more. And also you can tell by the by 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 the by the by the dropping of my lips, you can kind of know where I have the most problem. So anyway, he was focusing on my right side of my face. And you know, around TMJ. I have multiple knee needles everywhere. In the end, to to alleviate, release the pr pressure, and to uh, increase the balance, so I had, so we had to let out some blood. So so I even got a suction cup right here. I was poking this with this kind of like a diabetic needle, poking through it, and then you put a cup on there, and then you just watch the blood coming out. You know, so so I know I know in the past people were asking does acupuncture uh, help with suppressing ticks. Uh, I would say um, it will suppress the tick when you have the needle on your face. You know whether it's the needle itself is touching the nerve, it's coming your nerve, helping you suppress. Also psychologically, you do, you don't want to move because when you have needle on certain nerve endings, it feels like an electric shock when you move. You know, so it sort of uh, train you also train you from a behavior point of view that. It cannot move. It's both due to the mechanism of the nerve, also psychology. Uh, but after the needles are off, uh, I do feel a lot more relaxed on the face. And uh, but not not necessarily. It's not a reduction of ticks. You know, so you gotta remember that. You know? So anyway, so I just want to show you guys. Uh, I got a suction cup to my face. That's just my first time I ever had a suction cup to my face. <laughs>